Hi guys, today we're going to take a soft knife that's just been processed, just been formed, and turn it into a usable knife, which involves a process called heat treating. So uh, that's what we'll do is walk you through some steps, what we do to heat treat our knives. The first step in heat treating is hardening. That's where we take our blades and we heat them up to around 1960 degrees. Um, but to do that safely uh, with our blades, we need to put them in a protective pouch. In this case, it's a, it's a thin stainless steel that we uh, make up a pouch for, different sizes depending on the model. So what we'll do is we'll just slide this blade into the pouch. Make sure it's good and far down there. And then I'll uh, fold, do the final fold on the last seam here to seal it up so it's ready for the oven. So the way I do that is I grab a straight edge here and I'll just give it a fold and then use a roller, a seam roller to Flatten that edge and then give it another fold here. And that, that seals it so it's ready for the oven. So uh, what I'll do now is just go away and get all these um, filet knives pouched up and then we'll head over to the oven. Okay, I got the oven heated up now and uh, get my some cotton on here and my face shield. So I'll grab my gloves and then I'm just going to start loading the oven. So the knives have been soaking in the oven for a while now and it's time to take them out. Uh, we do that as a two-man job just so it goes smooth and uh, problem-free. So we're going to put them onto some aluminum plates for quenching. That cools them down rapidly. Uh, so let's do that. The knives are out of the oven now. They've got some neat colors on them. Uh, they have not quite finished their transformation. To do that, we have to quench them in uh, dry ice, and that takes them down to about minus 100 Fahrenheit. Uh, it just finishes the transformation of the steel. So we'll put them into the dry ice, and we'll leave them there for half an hour or so. Okay. Got a bed of uh, dry ice pellets there. We will grab these blades and nestle them into the pellets as best we can. Uh, they start to sing when you put them in the ice. There we go. So now we'll put uh, a layer on top here. That uh, insulates it, keeps that heat transfer from the pellet, the blades into the pellets efficient. Close it up. It's good for about, I don't know, half an hour or so. And then we'll take them out and they'll be all covered with frost and, and uh, pretty much done. Next stage will be tempering. Okay, that's long enough in the cryo. Mm. 
nice bundle. The knives are out of the ice now. Uh, they're still very brittle. Uh, so what we have to do next is temper them. Tempering is a process that uh, it's a lower temperature heat treating process that uh, increases the flexibility and the toughness of the steel. It's another transformation that's happening. So uh, what we do is we put them into the oven for a couple of hours uh, and soak them at, in this case, 600 Fahrenheit. Uh, and after the two hours, we'll bring them out let them reach room temperature and then repeat that again. So two tempering cycles. So I'm going to load the, the oven. So I'll slide this in there, our Santokus, and, and those we clamp uh, just to give a good straightness to them, make sure they stay straight because they're a very thin uh, blade. Right. Put those right there. Okay, the oven's packed. Uh, we're going to close it up and leave it to its own devices for the next couple of hours. Um, by the time we've done that twice, uh, heat treating is complete and uh, we're good to go. Um, our, with the S35VN, after heat treat, we, the Rockwell is around 59 to 60 and uh, that's our kind of standard heat treat hardness. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.